Nesters, it's Nicole Nesting Haven. Today I have a Goodwill thrift haul to share with you. I found a few cool pieces, some items I was excited to pick up, so I will go ahead and get started and show you what I got. The first thing I got to resell in my antique booth, I just thought it was really cute here. For anybody that likes Taco Tuesdays and has it on the regular, I think they'll enjoy this. I really enjoyed all the fun florals on this, and I don't know, I just thought it'd be a cute little kitchen sign for somebody. I paid 75 cents for it because I got 25% off, you know, everything in my order. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cute and I'll probably sell it for around $8. So the next thing I picked up, I'm thinking about reselling. I'm not quite sure yet because it does remind me of Maine, the state I live in, because we have the little moose here and on this side we got the pine trees. So I'm kind of on the fence about letting this go. It's like a super heavy, well-made mug. It's almost like a pottery piece, really. And it says it was made in Mexico. So I was kind of surprised to see that because I figured it would be like a made in Maine mug just because of, you know, the subject matter. But yeah, it's a, it's a good size without being too large. So I might end up keeping this. I think this might be a good mug for my husband to use. So I paid see three dollars would have been 225 I believe with my discount so that's a great deal and I was definitely happy to pick this up another mug I picked up was this one here this is a vintage mug made in Taiwan and I absolutely loved that it had this pink on the bottom here now this is another one I'm on the fence if I want to resell or not because I do really really like it but I don't really need any more mugs so it's a matter of will I keep it and swap out something I already have or if I'm gonna resell it this was marked two dollars so I paid a dollar fifty for it and I just thought it was a super super nice mug I really love the looks of it it's gorgeous so next I picked up kind of a couple of quirky things I guessed the first item here is this cute little doggy he's kind of a paperweight I would say or you could just use him as a knickknack but it's just a nice little handmade pottery piece. It looks to be probably from around the 60s or 70s it was made in, and I only paid 75 cents for this. I think I'm going to resell this, but I am I definitely like it, <laughs> so who knows what I'll end up doing with it, but right for right now, I think I am going to try to lean towards the reselling of it. And then an item I picked up for my booth is this cute little chick here. I thought this would be great for the springtime in my booth and you know with Easter coming up and stuff it's a nice little planter or you could use it for I don't know something else but I would you know think it would be a planter here I paid 75 cents for him and yeah I thought he was just super cute I could not pass that up again tempted to keep it myself but I'm gonna let it go and go ahead and put it in my booth so I also picked up this sign here to put into my booth bless this mess I loved how it had that cross stitch look to it and you can hang it up on the wall and it actually has magnets on the back here or I think you can peel these off and I'm assuming there's magnets there. I paid 75 cents for that and I'll probably ask around eight for it so should be a pretty good little profit there and I think it's a cute little sign for somebody. I also grabbed this little caddy here. It's a nice wooden caddy and I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to resell this in my booth or keep it. I'm thinking it'd be good to use for my office for pens and papers and whatnot. I paid $3 for it and yeah, it's in pretty great condition. It, it would also be good for, you know, the summertime when you do picnics or just cookouts in general to put, you know, silverware and napkins and whatnot in it. So all kinds of uses for this. It was definitely a great deal at three bucks, so I wasn't gonna pass it up. Also for three dollars, I also picked up this really nice burnt orange colander here. It's a, I would say medium-sized colander and they do make larger ones. I love these enamel wear colanders like this. They come in so many fun colors. I think I'm gonna resell this one. I kind of want to keep it, but I just got a like stainless steel one for Christmas. It's a large one and I don't really need any more, so I am gonna put this in the booth, but look at that. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous burnt orange. Absolutely love it. So I found this set here for, it's March $5, so I got it for $3.75 with my discount. And what it is, is vintage Corel. 
in the Old Town Blue pattern. Sometimes people call it Blue Onion pattern, but it's Old Town Blue. And this came out in 1973, I believe, with the other Pyrex compatible patterns. And I absolutely love this. You can see right here, I got the spring blossom and the butterfly gold back here. So I'm trying to collect all the Pyrex, uh, Pyrex compatibles. And I didn't have much of the Old Town Blue, so I was happy to get this. The only Old Town Blue I have are, let me set this down for a second. Okay, now that I'm not gonna break anything. This is what I already have, are the hook cups here and the saucers. So that's all I had for the Old Town Blue. So in this set I got for 375, amazing deal. There was this one random bowl, it is a Corel bowl, it has this nice blue rim around it. Don't mind it, but it doesn't really go with the set. They threw it in for free, I guess. So I ended up getting two of these cereal bowls. And then I got two more saucers here. A little dirty. <laughs> I also got three of the salad plates. And then I got one, two, three, we got five of the dinner size plates. Now these alone will sell typically for around $5 a piece, as well as the salad bowl, uh, salad plates. The bowls typically maybe around three to five as well. And the sauces and cups usually go for about a buck a piece if you're you know, gonna pick them up to resell, just to keep that in mind for you guys. So I was really excited to find those. I need to work on my woodling collection now, but I do have a woodland platter plate there. I have two of those, but I don't have much of anything else in that pattern. So, and also the snowflake garland is the other one I'm trying to get a hold of, but I'm doing pretty well with three out of five. <laughs> so the last item I picked up is this here. I paid up for it a little bit. It was marked $8, but I got the 25% off of it. So whatever that is, like $6 or something. And what it is, is actually, well, let's just go with this. It's an interesting story because this pattern is not ever marked as far as I know, but through research and stuff, people have came to realize that it is actually made by Fire King. And that is because of the way the handles are. So you'll see on this one, uh, Fire King distinctly has these two style of uh, handles on their everywhere. This one here, you can see it has the kind of scalloped bump edging here. And then the other style that they make is uh, like the handle kind of swoops down. I actually got another Fire King in my collection. Let me go grab it and I'll show you. Okay, so this is a Fire King casserole here and this is the other type of edging where it kind of swoops down. So even though these look like Pyrex would have made them, they didn't because they never made these type of handles. This one's actually marked Fire King on the bottom. But this one here is called Sweet Chalette or Sweet Alpine. Those are the two names it's known as. And I absolutely love it. You guys that watch my channel around the regular know I love blue and green. So I was willing to pay up for it a little bit just because I really, really do like this pattern. And yeah, so that's an interesting little story there about this. So I hope you guys enjoyed my thrift haul. Please let me know below what your favorite item was. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here and share all my thrifted goodies with you, my reselling journey. And we'll catch you in the next one, guys.